Well, you guys kind of seen from the drone footage that we ended up getting another trailer. Uh, this is a Moss trailer. We bought this from Hainsworth Farms. Same uh, place we bought the last Moss trailer. We've got a manure trailer of his as well. Chuck brought this trailer over here today himself and we're going to do a walk around of this trailer and we're going to basically describe the workings of it and some of the improvements, some of the things, the small changes that they've made from the 20, what is that, a 19 or a 20 that I have? I think it's a 19 and this is a 20, this is actually a 20, uh, I think this is actually a 23. 23. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, I don't know if we're going on the third year or the second year. I'm getting my, my years are blending in together. But me and Jared drove over to Chuck's place here when we were looking for a silage trailer. I popped in on a Sunday, got nosing around. He had a, a 36 foot trailer for sale. And we went and looked at it. It was the first time I had seen one. And I called him up few days later wanted to know if he could get a longer one he says you know we've got a couple of them on order and I said well I'm looking for uh, I want a 38 footer and he says we have those on order um, I said is there any possible way to make them a different color and they were like 15 minutes from painting it and they ended up yeah. going with the black and red theme and this one's in red and black we just wanted a little variation in the trailers and this is kind of fitting our color scheme so now we're going to let chuck talk about yeah so moss will change colors and we'll cater to, to, to color demands uh and uh we'll uh we'll try to work with the farmers if they are looking for a certain color to to match up the trucks they've got so this is uh, i've been ordering a lot of these in with the uh, red bottoms and the uh, black extensions on them. So we've got six foot sidewall, 24 inch extension. So we've got a total of eight foot of height on that sidewall where the competition trailer runs a lot more of a 14 inch extension or an expanded metal. So this 38 foot will carry around 34 to 35 ton of corn silage. The 36 footers will carry 29 to 31 ton of corn silage. So I always say these 30, these 38s would carry almost as much as probably darn near the competition's 42 foot trailer uh, just because of the cubic feet they've got inside of them. So there's a few, there's a couple uh, a couple upgrades they did on the front cover hatches up there. They, they put the Moss emblem in here now. So I just did the math on that quick. This holds 90 yards. So he's talking tons. Yeah. The tons can vary, but this is a 90 yard trailer yeah so adjustments for adjusting the chain operation on it here uh it's a it's a inch and a half shaft on that front and then inside we've got a little new latching mechanisms here a little nicer to work with than the old latching and then if you can look inside there andy on those on those sprockets there's grease fittings on those sprocket assemblies that are on four different points. So wherever it stops, you're gonna be able to get that greased. And that's gonna to wanna to be greased every day. So there's a Zerk here, and then there's another one back here. So you're always going to be able to get to a grease point. Yeah, and you've got a half inch UHMW floor in here, and then crossbars that are two by, one by two, uh, all tubing on this, so we don't have the typical slat that can have a 10 seat of pack full of material. We also can adjust this crossbar or the main drive bar in the front with four points of adjustment two in the center and one on each outside and then we've got an access panel here that allows us to uh, look into this trailer from the front and get access with both these doors which is kind of a nice little option that uh, and then also inside if you can see all the way to the back those big lever arms on there are both inside and outside of that tailgate and you'll see the strength and the, the stability of that tailgate just uh, is really built rugged down in the bottom where they've uh, put the gussets on that's also secondary plated down there too yeah, I'll crawl right up in there yeah 
All right, so Chuck was describing the gussets on the tailgate on the inside of the box here, and then there's a plate on the gate to re help reinforce this gusset. I don't recall that there is inside bars on the body that we, or the, ta the trailer that uh, we have. That other that trailer of ours doesn't have the same thing. Does it have the gussets on the yep. inside? Yep. It does have yep. the gussets. All those doors are all built the same. Okay. On those back ends, and then uh, drop that door back down, lock that back in, and then everything that we do, we put a custom swing arm on the front of these trailers that come through our shop with a spring operator on here long arm on there and, and uh, does a nice job of keeping that out there in front and then we also put our uh, hose holder kit on here that hangs those hoses up when you're not using the unit which is a nice little feature that we install at our shop extra so let's move down the side of the trailer okay so they put a silent sample door on here that allows you to open that up get in there if you're taking samples on loads and see what product you got there for analysis but uh then coming back through everything's built on here four by six tubing on all of this uh, all closed in all the cross members are all tubing no channel and they're all they're all uh nice so they're not carrying any product on there where you have a tendency to build up a lot of stuff on channel swing arm assembly on here is uh inch and a quarter pin where your typical uh, pin on here would be uh, seven eighths of an inch they update it to an inch and a quarter then after they get their alignment they weld the locking mechanism on here both inside and outside which is a nice feature to keep that alignment in the hangers here instead of quarter inch are all built out of five sixteenths then if we come underneath there we'll take a look at this new swing arm assembly which is an update here for this year where they've gone to a uh, even heavier swing arm where they've got three bushings inside of this swing arm axle and that is all then bolted through with the three heavy bolts there what that does that's allowing for this to have a little bit more flexibility left and right as you're going through the field and you're tweaking this box back and forth and you're working this suspension hard that's because of those bushings inside of those swing arms it's allowing for a little bit more movement and flexibility of that and uh, which just comes all back to giving you more strength but you know here's your inside locking mechanisms your super oversized bolts on that system and we've got a so this is a 60,000 pound air ride suspension two 30,000 pound axles Hendrickson's airbag 30,000 then the Hendrickson's bushing in here and uh, which the suspension is I truly think one of the another super highlights of this trailer of just giving it the strength that the competition doesn't come close to when it comes to that all tubing back up through here underneath everything tracks are running back up through on top of the top of the angle right there back to the front and then they even do offer or come standard with a little toolbox carrier here if you're looking to store a little bit of stuff in there um, which has always come on all the trailers so that's where we put all of our metal that the chopper gets <laughs> that, that one year chopping that one farm with all that wire <laughs> so they also put a little extra spread in here it's got a 60 inch i think it's a 62 inch spread so with this little extra spread in here one of the really nice things this 38 foot trailer pulls around more like a 35 foot trailer because it turns and pivots so much quicker when you just spread those tandems a little bit did you notice that andy when you're yeah, pulling yeah. yours and guys don't even realize that until they get this out in the field and they realize that this 38 footer handles so much nicer the 36 footers really handle almost like a 33 footer because they'll pivot and turn so quick the uh they also put this air gauge on here so when you are chopping into it you can watch the gauge on here and you'll have a tendency to know exactly kind of what your load is load after load just by letting the guy running the chopper can visually get an eye on that so they come back here they put the nice moss emblem in the door here they've upgraded the latches on it and come 
100 drive chain on here is what this is. Most of the competition's got 80. And then two grease fittings here, that's going to grease the pivot point on this side and the other side. Maybe another one of the upgrades here is they've opened this up in the bottom. So what that's doing, if you have a tendency to not check these often enough, that's not letting material pack up in there. It's giving it a place for it to get away, which is a nice little, a nice little spot for keeping that clean. And that, uh, they built a big heavy back end in on it. And where they're coming from down, uh, down in Texas, where they run these all the time, they will have a tendency to pull, pull trailers around or pull their service trailers around with them from job to job. So Jared's uh, oh, hooked on to other trucks with them before, as, pulled other trucks out before. I know they said before. they've had one of these buried right to the uh, you know, halfway just sunk out of sight and hooked onto that with a big tractor and those are built with so much strength back into the frame there they were able to pull that out so crossbar in here this is a two and a half inch solid shaft on here which is a monster and uh, now they're running w82 chain which is just an incredibly large chain the competition's running just a much smaller link here compared to what what we're running here on this unit. It, uh, this apron chain weighs 900 pounds more than the competitions in this trailer. So, it, uh, again, you can see your UHMW are coming right to the back here, which is tough to see where that crossbar is. Yeah. It, uh, and then monster drive sprockets on here running this. Grease fittings here, here, and here. It, uh, so, let me go, so this tailgate's going to operate on a path of least resistance, so when you fire the hydraulics up, what you're going to get is whatever moves easiest, this tailgate will cycle to the top. Once it tops out, then the chain will just go ahead and drive. There's no latches on the back of that because of that L-frame design, just the weight is keeping it where it is. Then when you're done unloading, uh, push your hydraulic lever in, this tailgate will just fall back to home base. So let me fire it up, one of the things you'll okay. notice is how smooth and quiet this chain runs in this unit. PSI on all this equipment to operate it. This should unload in two minutes or so is your should be your unload time, depending on the flow of your uh, of your wet line that you're hooked up to. So and, uh, and for adjusting this chain, what you want to see is when this chain comes around to the bottom side, you want to see that hit the bottom track at about 12 to 14 inches in at the most. If you're not touching down till 15 or 16 inches, you've got your chain too tight. The rule of thumb is you want to run this chain. 10% loose than you do 10% too tight. Over tightening these chains will make them unload harder. You'll hear more clatter and rattle out of them. So always a little on the loose side is gonna be the thing you're gonna to wanna to do. And if you do any cold weather running, you don't wanna tighten them up in the summer and then get into a cold winter deal running these because that cold will tighten that chain up and then it'll be running too tight on it. So, but uh, nice smooth operation on this. Right So what there is is a hydraulic motor yep. on yeah. each side. Twin, twin Parker motors underneath here running them. So up underneath each side here, Kevin. You'll see a motor here. Parker is one of the best hydraulic motors in the business. And uh, they get a tremendous amount of excellent performance out of that, uh, pulling those loads off. So that's a nice feature. I'll turn the hydraulics off there now. Fall back down the whole base, land, and that's going to the weight of that seat. Again, see your structures on the inside and outside of that tailgate is uh, for that strength and stability of that gate there.
comes with a 24-5 tire on them. Uh, I order everything in here for us with uh, steel on the inside, aluminum on the outside. We're a 16-ply tire, chip resistant, and uh, nice system there. So that pretty much uh, runs the whole program on what it is. That upper is all laser cut extensions up there that are laser cut out and then bolted into those extensions up there. There is one crossbar in the middle, you see that, and that's designed just to give those racks a little bit of stability up there. So, but, uh, appreciate you guys stepping up and buying another one, Andy, and yeah. uh, I hope you're as happy with this one as yeah, the Yeah, we first will one. be. We've got the other one parked down the road here. That's where we're gonna park this one, and we'll do a quick walk around of that one. There's the only real difference that you guys are gonna see is the color combination. The colors are just flip flop. So we'll uh, run this down the road, and uh, okay. we'll send Chuck on his way here. We really appreciate you bringing us over. It saves me having to go yeah, all the way over yeah, to your place to get it. Your brother talked me into it. <laughs> so, he kept saying, when are you going to bring it over? <laughs> I never asked him. I thought he was coming to pick it up. Yeah, there you go. But, uh, it was a good day to get it over here and take a little time and see you boys. So it was a uh, fun ride for me to come over. So, nice, simple Sunday, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Best Sunday's work Sunday, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> So. All right, I'll run it down the road, Andy. And, uh, okay. Well, Chuck's got everything unhooked here, and he's gonna head on his way here. We'll walk down and look at the other trailer too, which all of you have seen that trailer in action. But these trailers are identical; they're the same length, same height. The colors are just—they're just, just flip-flop. That's all. <laughs> yep. And uh, we'll get them in action together, right? Yep, yeah, you guys will move a lot of stuff with the two of those running yeah. side by side. Yeah. Yeah, there's a set of access steps on the front of this trailer too right there. So. Yeah, the other one has that too. So that's that's nice, yeah. Climb up on there. See what you've got in there. So, well, we'll just walk down to this one. Not that yeah. there's really anything to see, but other than it needs a good washing and a waxing. Yeah. <laughs> The axle's a little different on this one. So and yeah, the swing arm's, uh, it's got the, uh, it's got what's kind of like an HT style where the swing arm is coming around the axle and then it's welded on. And then it's also got a secondary set of U-bolts that hold that swing arm on there. And uh, so this new system just gives a little bit more flexibility laterally when you're going through ditches and ravines, allowing that when that trailer's rocking and back and forth, there's just a little bit more articulation which uh, is just just take some stress off those welds. Oh. Yeah, like you were saying, the covers are a little different yeah. on that one compared to this one here. Yeah, the latch mechanisms are a little different. So, light unplugged.
yeah so other than that that'll about do it so like i said we want to thank chuck for bringing that trailer out here today and giving us a walk around yep. if you guys are in need or have any interest in silage trailers or manure tanks i'll put his information in the description down below he's a little west of me he's probably two and a half hours did you yeah, say two, two and a half two hours, hours yeah two hours over in wyoming, just outside of wyoming county there over uh over by the salt mine over there in the town of uh mount morris yes so so we've been out to his way. place a couple times and um we yeah, bought yeah. a trailer a manure trailer from him here this past fall too that's um been working out real good so okay well Andy, thank thanks you. a lot chuck yep all right take it easy and uh enjoy the rest of your sunday yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs>